guys, what's up? So it's Grace, and today we are doing a dirty Q&A, which is basically asking me, you guys asking me, all of the most privacy invading, dirty, gross questions you can possibly come up with and me answering truthfully. <laughs> so without further ado, so without further ado, let's get started. Marley with four E's and an underscore asks, Grace, what's your worst period story? My worst period story would probably be when I was in school, probably like eighth grade. Basically, the worst nightmare the thing everyone makes fun of where like the teacher calls you up when you're on your period like to stand up and go stand in front of the class it happened to me my period is like super all over the place it doesn't happen every month in fact I've gone seven months without getting it and so I don't really get to like predict when it's gonna come so I was sitting there in my seat already having a bad day not understanding why PMSing obviously and I just felt it and if you're a girl you understand like I'm not gonna go super into detail but you understand what I'm talking about when I say you just feel it so I'm sitting there like mortified not sure what to do and the teacher comes up to me and she's like grace you need to go answer this question on the board and I'm just sitting there and I'm like no and she's like what do you mean no go answer the question on the board I'm just Mm -mm. no so after this going back and forth for a while now the whole class is looking at me like why aren't you going up to the board why aren't you answering this question finally she's like if you're not gonna get up then the principal is gonna come in here and make you get up and I was like fine have the principal come in here that was an idiot thing to say because now the principal's in the room everyone's looking at me and the principal's like grace just go to the board and I'm like Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So I'm kind of freaking out at this point because I have really, really bad anxiety and at this point everyone's looking at me. I feel like everyone already knows, like, there's definitely blood on my pants. Like, I feel like I'm sitting on a wet washcloth. It's disgusting. And there's no way in hell I'm standing up to go to the board. So I do the only thing that I can think to do, which is to do that thing where you slide out of your seat and you're kind of like... Yeah, I did that. So now I'm laying on the floor on my back and my friend Tabitha at the time saw me doing it and she looks over and thank God she understood kind of what was going on. So she passed me her jacket and I did the whole tie around the waist thing and I was like, I need to go to the bathroom and ran to the bathroom and when I came back, there was definitely blood on my seat and everyone saw it. So that was my worst period story. <laughs> Eli McCleave asks, have you ever had someone poop on your chest? Let me answer your question with another question. What do you think I'm doing with my free time? Luli, or at no type Collins, asks, Grace, would you rather change genders every time you sneeze or won't be able to pet dongs until the day you die? Not dogs, dongs. I think I'd rather not pet dongs. You know, I really feel like I'm not losing a lot if I'm not petting them. At Lamp Beef asks, Grace, would you ever use sex toys? Question mark. LOL. I don't know. I can tell you I haven't yet. Mads or at YG Madeline asks, Have you ever gotten caught with a guy in your room or in his room? Yes, I have. In like... I think eighth grade too, I was making out with this like super hot guy, which turned out to be like a total asshole. And I was like sitting on him. It was the first time I was ever like sitting on somebody's lap, like facing them, like making out with them. So I was like really bad at it, but in my mind I was super into it and like, yeah, woo. And my mom walked in to like have a conversation with me and me like being an idiot, not knowing what to do and like panicking, continued to sit on his lap with my arms around his neck, just talking to my mom about like what I wanted to have for dinner. And she definitely was like super disapproving and it was so uncomfortable and the guy looked like he was about to like pee his pants and it was really awkward. Samantha or at Hi Key Diego asks, will you send me some weed? Girl. Yes. Actually, can I get arrested for that? I can get arrested for that. No, but I would share with you if you were here. Michaela or at Michaela Monique asks, 
Have you ever bitten your toenails because you were bored? Honestly, when I was younger, my brother used to bite his toenails like all the time and I was like wondering what it was like, so I tried. But truthfully, I'm not flexible enough to like put my foot in my mouth, so no. At Spooky Schnapp asks, did you cry when you lost your virginity? Yes, I did because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was young and I really didn't want to be there. So yeah, I cried. Emma, or fucked up Selman, asks, do you think I'm a snake? Yes. You are literally the biggest snake in the universe, Emma. But you already know that. Riku Cruel 69 asks, Grace, do you ever wish you had a penis? I do. I do wish I had a penis sometimes just because it's so cool. It's like an elephant trunk in the middle of your legs. But I also kind of know because I feel like when you guys are running, it just kind of hits you like in the stomach. And I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Mar or at run to Jack asks, Grace, have you ever kissed a girl? I have. I've kissed more than one girl. Okay, okay, models asks, would you rather suck dick or let your mom die? What? I'll be, I feel like I don't even need to answer that one. Hallie, or at V Collins Pizza, asks, have you ever leaked a body part of John? Well, I posted a picture on my main Instagram account of him just in his underwear with me. I think I'm flicking him off. I'm pretty sure I'm flicking him off. So, I mean, I've leaked his nipples. If that was on a woman, I would get banned. Liz, or at Goddammit Diego, asks Harley Quinn or Grace? Harley Quinn all the way, 100%, not even a question. At MK Burgos asks, if you were to lose your virginity to one person, who would it be? I already lost mine, so. And it wasn't to the person I wanted, so. That ship has sailed, I guess. At Humoristic Jin asks, this is not a dirty question, but if you already lost your V-card, do you regret losing it? I don't know, I just like, I don't really regret losing it, but I do regret losing it to the person I lost it to. If that makes sense. Suzanne, or at Beer's Princess, asks, when did you have your first time? I was about to be 15, I believe. So super, super young, but it wasn't really, I mean, it wasn't really like sex. By the way, if you guys hear licking in the background, my dog is drinking out of my toilet bowl, just so you know. But it wasn't really sex. It was like he put it in and I completely freaked out. Um, the reason that we were having it was because I was super, super self-conscious at the time, super insecure. Um, didn't really think very highly of myself. And he was breaking up with me. He was kind of being crazy. And we had been together for like so long and always did everything together and I was panicking and I was like, okay, I'm going to give him like the one thing I can only give one person and maybe he'll stay with me. So it really had to do a lot with my self-confidence. And when he did put it in, I completely panicked and pushed him off and like started bawling my eyes out and then ended up telling my mom like six months later. So yeah, it was a time. Wouldn't repeat it. Wouldn't repeat it. Marley, ooh, I already get a question from you, Marley, but you just ask good questions. So she asks, how many times a day do you think you fart? Literally all day. My entire day is just like one continuous fart all day long. Katrina, or at Cal Sauce, asks, big spoon or little spoon? Little spoon, 100%. I mean, it's kind of some fun sometimes, like run up behind the guy and like put your arms around his waist and be like, oh, you're like a big teddy bear. But like when I'm cuddling, I like to be Little Spoon because it's small and I'm like, oh, you're so nice. Katrina also asks, what's the most creative place you've ever had sex? All my friends are always telling me how they had sex like on a mountain or like on the seashore or in a Walmart dressing room, but I've never had it anywhere like that. <laughs> Last picture message you sent. It was actually of a boy who was telling me that like I should cheat on John with him and I thought it was hilarious so I screenshotted it and sent it to John. So that's the last picture message I've sent. Tina, you fat lard, love you, or at Small Bean Diego, says top or bottom? Bottom, cause you get to be lazy. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And just one last thing I want to say just to get this out there before you comment it. Here, I'll do it for you. 
Grace, you shouldn't be having sex if you're not ready to have children. Sex is only about having children. That's the only reason you'd ever have it. Did I cover it for you? Yes? I saved you some time. There you go. Personally, I do not believe that sex is just for creating children. My mom can't have children, but do you think that that means that her and my dad aren't allowed to like... No, that's stupid. Like, what? I think sex is about much more than that. You can have your own opinions, your own thoughts about it. I'm totally there for you. You can think whatever you want. Um, I'm all about having your own opinion. But please do not come at me in a aggressive way saying that I'm a bad person because of the decisions I've made. Because I'm perfectly happy with my decisions and quite frankly, you just look like a troll because you're wasting your time. Alright, I love you guys. This has been awesome and I will see you guys later. I love you guys. You matter. Deuces. Yep.